YouTube, how are you now? Sean here from the EDC Den. Welcome back to the channel, one and all. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are looking at some traditional knives. This is my collection of the canoe pattern. So today we're going to focus on the canoe pattern. Um, I was chatting with our buddy Rhino, a good friend of the knife community. Uh, we were talking a little bit about canoes, so I thought, why not make a video for Rhino? He's a great contributor to the channel as far as comments, so why not throw Rhino a little video of my modest canoe collection here? As you can see, we've got eight knives. Um, down at the bottom, we've got a mini canoe here by Rough Rider, and that's a, a Case Butterbean. Also a mini canoe, but they call theirs the Butterbean. All right, so let's get into this. Let's take a look at these canoe knives. This row here on the left, that is all Case. Um, up here, we've got a Buck, followed by a Queen, and two Rough Riders here at the bottom. So all Case, Buck, Queen, Rough Rider, and Rough Rider. We'll take a look at this one first. This is my most carried canoe. It's a case canoe in pocket worn gray bone. And this one has the CV steel. As you can tell by this patina, some of you saw the video where we put this patina on. I think we used apple and maybe some vinegar. And the smaller pen blade here with the same patina in CV steel. Nice knife, really nice tolerances on this one. All the blades are tight. If I could, I would probably have this bone a little bit of a deeper gray color. For me, that's a little bit kind of white up here in this middle section. This side is probably a little bit closer to what they were looking to achieve with the die job. So that side's looking pretty good. This one, I find the gray just a little bit sparse. It's kind of looking good in this section, but all throughout here, it's a little bit white, don't you find? Still looks okay. It's like a concrete gray color, but I do prefer the gray on this side. They don't always match them perfectly. So this one's not a perfect match, but that's all right. This is a user. I throw this one in the pocket. Like I said, this is my most carried and used canoe. Here we've got another case canoe. This one is in the raspberry jig bone. Or is it strawberry jig bone? Now I'm forgetting. It's looking more like a strawberry to me. Actually, that also looks like a raspberry. Ooh, I don't know, guys. Strawberry or raspberry? I'm totally blanking on which one this is. Either way, it is a pink canoe. <laughs> this one is not in the CV steel. It is in the True Sharp stainless steel. A little extra touch here with the fluted bolsters. I don't know if you call those fluted, but a little bit of machining done. You've got four lines there. Both bolsters, both sides. Nice even die job on this one. Looks good. I haven't used this knife, so this one is still in pristine condition. It's never cut anything. Hasn't been carried too much. A little bit here and there. But primarily just one for the collection. I don't have any pink knives. I thought, yeah, why not get a pink canoe? Moving along down the case line here. This case canoe with the unique shield. A lot of you probably recognize that logo as the Ducks Unlimited logo. So this is part of the case Ducks Unlimited line. They do make a donation to Ducks Unlimited whenever a knife is purchased of this line. So you can see this retriever type dog doing his hunting here. He's waiting for those geese to drop into the field so he can go collect them. <laughs> really great looking antique bone here with fantastic detail on this etching. You can see the dog and the grass and the ducks there. Along with the cool duck shield, plus the donation to the ducks. I mean, how could you not buy one of these really? Yeah, really nice smooth bone here. Very nice to the touch. No transition on these pins or over to the bolsters. It's all very, very smooth. Everything's just put together seamlessly. You can just see a little cracks here because I do have the blades open, but everything's very flush. Great edges on these blades. Very sharp. 
good snap. This is pretty much a perfect case canoe. Can't imagine it getting any better than that one. Let's keep going with the canoes. We'll save the babies for the end. Up here we've got a little budget canoe. This one is made by Buck. This came in like a two pack, came with another small pen blade. I think it was on sale for $20 or so. So $20 for two knives, one of them being this canoe. Slightly different blade profile on this buck compared to the case. The case is more like a spear point and this is almost like a modified drop point. Brass bolsters with some plastic covers. Okay, so that's not bone. I think you can tell just by looking at it. But that's just some sort of plastic or Delrin for the covers. Let's check the snap on this little budget buck canoe. Yeah, pretty good. The pull is probably a six and a decent little snap there. Pen blade here with a nice little edge on it. This one's also good and solid with a nice snap to it. So a well put together budget knife here by Buck. You can see the blades are in there nice and snug. So there's that one. Moving on to the queen canoe. This is a nice one, guys. You've got, again, the little threads on the bolsters here. Nice bone covers. Really nice shield by Queen. Match strike pulls on the blades. A little swedge worked into that blade, you can see. And half stops on this one. So you guys are pretty familiar with this line from Queen. This is really popular in the budget traditional community. I picked up one of these canoes and also a Barlow. I haven't carried them much. I, I really tend to reach for this when I'm going for the canoe. I go for that gray case, but this is a really nice one. Really well built, awesome snappy action. You can see that half stop there. And then closed. Yeah, really great action on this one. Very nice bone, well put together. Why don't I carry this more? I don't know. For some reason, these two queen knives that I bought that everybody loves, I mean, I love them too. They're very nice, but they just haven't quite grabbed me yet. I, I don't carry this one, nor do I carry the Barlow. So I'm sure that will change soon. I'll get a hankering and I'll just start carrying them. But for now, this one sits in the collection and this one is the one that gets the pocket time. Here we go, another canoe. This one is made by Rough Rider. It's the white bone. I kind of messed up the white bone, I think, by um, when I oiled the pivot, some of the oil leached into the bone and made a stain. So I just decided to dye the bone. So I used some leather dye and just dyed it brown, which left it this beigey orange color. Doesn't look amazing, but neither did my stained white bone, so this knife looks pretty cool in the original white bone. It looks okay with my little die job. I've also worked on the bolsters. So this eventually just became like a guinea pig, you know, practicing how to sharpen, practicing how to die some bone, um, messing with the little pivot pins and the bolsters, trying to tighten things up. So it's a pretty nice knife at the end of the day when all is said and done. But she did take some little modifications to get here. All in all, a nice little canoe. These can be had for probably $15 or so, just an amazing price. Um, again, for the budgets, I think I said this one was about 20. Here we're about 15. I think these queen canoes are about 20 or 25. Also quite a good price considering how well built they are. All right, just a couple of babies left. We, like I said here, this one case calls theirs the Butterbean and Rough Rider, I think they just call theirs the Baby Canoe. For $8 or whatever these go for, you really can't go wrong. It's a little tiny knife that you can cut threads with and open mail, open little packages. A two-bladed mini canoe. Let's see exactly how many they are. Let's open one up and compare it. We'll do a Rough Rider to a Rough Rider. So a little size comparison when they're opened up. Quite a big difference there. It's probably about 50% of the original size of the canoe. 
just making it that much more lightweight and pocketable. You put that in your little fifth coin pocket of a pair of jeans, you won't even know it's there. You'll and finally, the case butter bean. I would like to add one or two of these to the collection. I really like this knife. I do carry it. I, I do find it occupying the coin pocket of my jeans once in a while. I might carry like a larger, more modern day folder and then throw something like this in my coin pocket. Just because it's always good to have a little traditional knife on you. So this one is the Antique Smooth Bone. It's incredibly nice. A lot like the um, Ducks Unlimited Canoe. Just very smooth, no transitions on the pins or the bolsters. You can see the fluted bolster there. Looks good. It's got this cool, I think Case calls it the bomb shield. So a nice shield there. And they've got the long pulls on the as the nail necks on both blades. That's how she looks opened up. So just noticing this swedge up here on the blade. Swedge looks nice. Sometimes those swedges can come off a little bit sharp, but this one's not sharp. You're not going to accidentally cut yourself on that one. But I have seen it where these edges can get a little bit sharp. I think I have a Rough Rider Stockman with some swedges, and one of them is incredibly sharp. You can actually shave wood with it. Okie doke Rhino, there's my canoes and everybody else, my modest little collection of canoes. This is a pattern that I really like. I'm sure I'll continue to add them over the years. Uh, I think I'll be focusing on the case canoe. Please uh, send me suggestions if you guys know of any traditional knife makers making some excellent canoes. And just while I have it out here on the side, I've got the Rough Rider Reserve Kayak. So they don't call their canoe a canoe. They call it a kayak. This is what it looks like. Uh, I made a video a couple days ago about a stockman where the blades were kind of a case stockman where all the, the blades were rubbing together. And you can see here to prevent the rubbing, Rough Rider Reserve, they've added these spacers and look at all the space they give you. Each blade has their own backspring. So there's no rubbing, there's, gonna be, there's not going to be any scuff marks on these blades, but you do sacrifice that nice thin profile of a canoe. And you end up with this bulkier version to allow for that space. And let's just see the difference. I mean, it's not twice as wide, but it's a lot wider. It's significantly wider. That's how Case puts the blades in. You might get some rubbing. That's how Rough Rider Reserve does it. There will be no rubbing, but you've got that extra space you've got to account for in your pocket. And again, it does not have the traditional canoe blades. It's not considered a canoe. It's called their kayak. Um, so it has these two kind of funky Tonto-y blades on them. Cool knife, not a canoe. Just thought I'd show it, as it is very similar, of course, the canoe pattern shown here on the knife. But let's put that aside, and we'll wrap this up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Go out there, get yourself a canoe. It's a great little traditional pattern, very easy to carry, very fun knife to collect. Go find one that you like at a price that's in your range and pick one up. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care. We'll see you real soon in the next video.